Hi everybody, this is Maxi, and it's been almost three to four weeks since I uploaded a gaming video. So I'm finally done with the competition. And I'm back to play more games for you guys. So I would like to finish this Walking Dead series so that we can move on to the next game. So this part seven, there'll be a part eight at the. There'll also be a part eight. So do bear with me as we finish this Walking Dead series together. All right. So here you go. Gone. But we're safe here for tonight, right? Clementine, you talked to that man Walter, right? What did he say? You didn't tell him anything about us, did you? He mentioned someone else. Someone else? Who? His friend. His name is Matthew. Look, I don't care what that man said. We're staying here tonight. Just talk to the rest of them. They trust you. See what you can find out. I'm gonna go find Luke. I'm so curious what I'm, gonna happen. I don't feel so good. Beck, what's wrong? I just need something to drink. You got it. I'll be right back. Ah, finally. Oh, you can just put it right here. Wow, what a cool stuff. That's nice, I guess. Beautiful. Uh, I used to love Beautiful. this time of year. You know, now that your friends are here, this place is starting to feel like a real home. Matthew and Walter are amazing people. Honestly, it's dangerous to be this kind, but they can't help it. Wait until you meet Matthew. He's a real character. Where is Matthew? Oh, he likes to go on long walks. He and Walter used to vacation here. He should be back soon. Clem, I wanted to ask you, does Kenny seem different to you? I didn't know him before, and, well, I'm curious. He does seem different than I remember. In what way? His mustache. I'm not sure. <laughs> Well, you three have been busy. Kenny, isn't it great? I got it, huh? I think I can manage, Ken. I said I got it. What? Always has to play the gentleman. <laughs> but I'll tell you, when I met him, he couldn't lift a fly. Why don't you go see if your friends are ready for dinner, Clementine? It's very cool to see a Indian. Definitely, this is an Indian person. You can tell by a new start. It's a Indian tradition. Most women are heavy in the old culture, so very cool. I'll give a thumbs up for that. My friends, my friends are at the top. I have to say this again. I'm very uh, curious what happened when they find out that we shot hit her friend. It is Rebecca. Okay? Just got a little dizzy. I can't even take care of myself. How am I supposed to raise a child? I mean, how can anyone now? I think it's possible. How do you know? Well, <laughs> I'm still here. True, true. I know it's going to be hard. But at the same time, I already feel a little less lonely. Because I know that no matter what happens, I'll get to meet someone new. She's kicking. You wanna listen? No. That food smells good, huh? Can I? I'm just trying to be a nice person. She's gonna be a runner. If he finds out it's not his, he'll kill. I don't know what to do. I can't believe I'm asking a little girl for advice. I... I wouldn't say anything. There's my man. You all right, baby? I'm fine, you big dope. <laughs> Just <laughs> need some food in you. Thanks for staying with her, Clem. Well, everyone, dinner is served. Come on, let's eat. Okay, man. Yeah, just 
I wish I hadn't pulled that trigger. Just try to forget about it. Right here, Clem. Hmm, so I'm going to get addition to choose. I've been with Kenny longer, so I think I should see if Kenny, due, for all due respect, I need to catch up with him. So, Clem, we were just talking. What's the deal with the kid? What's his name? Luke? He in charge? You trust him? Kenny, please. Sarita, we don't know these folks. They seem nice. Yeah, well, gators seem nice too, till they bite your damn arm off. I don't know yet. I haven't been with them long. Takes a while before you know a man for real. That's true. I'm still learning about <laughs> Kenny. Not the snoring again. It's like sawing <laughs> logs. Redwoods. <laughs> that guy, Big Al, he said they were on the run. Some people are after them. Well, you don't have to worry about that no more. They'll go tomorrow and you can stay here. Absolutely. Honey, you stay with us as long as you want. She's staying for good. Thank you. Of course. This is like a dream. Damn it, I am so happy right now. I, I can't even tell you. <laughs> uh oh. Hey there. Hey, hope you like the food. Oh, it's it's great. Thank you. Beaches and beans. Great for nutrition. Not too great on the way out, though, I tell you. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's Luke and Nick. Luke and Nick. You guys sure do look like a match. What's that supposed to mean? I'm just saying you look like good friends, that's all. So... What was your plan here? Hold out for the winter? Actually, we were thinking of moving on. Somewhere up north. You ever heard of a place called Wellington? Wellington? The hell is that? Yeah. Krista and I were going there. Supposed to be a big camp up near Michigan. Michigan? You got a hearing problem, kid? Yeah, Michigan. Think about it. Fresh water, lots of land, and cold-ass winter so the walkers get slow. Sounds like bullshit. Listen, Vanilla Ice, I don't know what your deal is, but you're more than welcome to take off in the morning. Well, that'd be just fine by me. What's the deal with these guys, Clem? Hey, fuck you, buddy. It's fine, oh. Nick. We're not staying. She's staying. Please, don't fight. Gentlemen, please. There's no need for this. Now look, we've all had a long day. Please eat. Ask me that can, Duck. Oh. <gasps> Duck was his son, which Duck. was cute. Who's Duck? Leave him alone, Luke. Hey, Clementine, would you uh, lend me a hand outside for a moment? Many people has a lot of memories in this game. Uh, I'm sorry about that. You know, I used to be a teacher. And I remember what it's like to be caught in the middle of two clicks. I suspect they'll find common ground soon enough. It may take a little time, but that's just how these things work. Everything will be fine. Listen, relationships are like any machine. You don't throw them out when they break down. You get your hands dirty and you get I'm leaving in the morning. Please stop talking. No, no, you gotta stay. We have Why? to keep moving. Clementine, in this world, you don't have to do anything. They say the world is over, but I'll tell you a secret. It's not. Okay. <laughs> People are more political now than they ever were before. In the end, we can't change the world. All we can do is continue to learn from each other, to empathize and use our heads. All war is a symptom of man's failure as a thinking animal. What? Sorry, have you read them? Well, we have plenty of time to catch you up on your reading. 
My partner Matthew is amassing quite the literature collection. I think you'll like him. In any case, the point is, as long as we have our wits about us, we can always make the right choice. Right? Right. I just sing for the sake of singing. What's the matter, Clementine? Is there something you want to tell me? You can talk to me, Clem. There's almost nothing you could tell me that would surprise me. I can really? promise you that. I'm worried about your friend. I think that. Don't worry. Matthew will be back soon, and everything will be fine. But I think. Hey, kids, what are you two talking about? Oh, politics. The hell. Well, being from Florida, I would imagine you know all about politics, Kenny. Man, I know one advantage of living in the apocalypse is not dealing with that shit no more. I was just gonna check the windows round back before this storm hits. Give us a hand? Sure. What? Miss? Who's that? Please, do you have any food? Are you okay? I saw the house and I have a family. We're starving. We live down there. Uh, uh, of course. Why don't you come in, Miss... Bonnie. Walt, I don't know. You just gonna let her in like that? It's fine, Kenny. We don't know this girl. Then we'll have to get to know her. Right, Clem? Walt. Check How much damage can this poor woman do? Check her for weapons. Yeah. Thank you. Really, but that storm will be on us soon, and I gotta get back to my family. I'll bring something out to you then. You don't have to do that. No, no, it's fine. But what about your people? We've got plenty. You stay put. I'll be right back. What does he look familiar? I don't know. I have a little girl like you. How old are you, sweetie? I'm eleven. I would have thought older than that. Here you are, miss. This is too much. Don't mention it. I don't know how to thank you. Just help someone else down the line. Thank you so much. I'll be going now. You stay safe. You too. Oh, that's very nice. Clem, go on inside and get to bed. Walt and I gotta talk for a second. Clementine. <laughs> Whoa. Don't freak out. Listen. Okay, I gotta tell you something. That guy on the bridge was Walter's friend. Yep. See, I knew something was I, off, so I asked Sarita about their friend. Sorry, but I did guess it that they're gonna find a picture to know that it's him, but I don't know who's gonna find it, but uh, anyways, let's go. Now they're all worried he's not back yet. I know he was, for sure. Damn it. Damn it, Nick. I don't think Walter knows yet, so we have to keep this quiet. I mean, who knows what the hell he'd do if he found out. We should tell him. He's gonna ask who did it, and you're gonna tell him. It's the right thing to do. Yeah. It's right to get Nick killed because that's what's gonna happen. Now, do you, uh, you still have that knife? Because if it was Matthews and Walter sees it, he's gonna put two and two together. It's with the other weapons. Okay, well, go get rid of it. Now I'll find Walter and run interference. Oh, and uh, keep an eye out for Nick. I'm right here. What's up? Oh, uh, there's nothing, man. I just wanted to check and see if you're okay. We need to Come tell you. Tuck me in. We have to tell you something. Hey, if there's something going on, I want to know. You're gonna know, man. No, just go back to bed, Nick. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. God damn it. Hey, Nick, shut the fuck up. I can't, man. I can't. Do not fucking blow it. Blow it? It's over. I have to tell him, Luke. 
What? No! You can Hey, Nick, you cannot do that. Are you fucking nuts? I gotta. I can't live with that on me. Okay, I hear you, but I mean, fuck, man. Man, I can't. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Are you kidding me? Nick, you shot his friend. You should tell him. Yeah, yeah. Nick, I'm warning you. This is fucking suicide. I'll live with it. Jesus Christ. Jesus. I can't handle this. Look, Clem, just go do that thing, alright? <laughs> it's gone. Uh oh. <gasps> Are you okay? I always liked this knife. Gave it to Matthew when all this started. I know he's dead. Who did it? Was it that, that kid? What's his name? Uh, Nick? Heard him talking earlier or something about shooting a man. I could see it. I can see it on his face. Wasn't sure then. But now... It was us. It was our oh. fault. She just going dense. Jesus. I, um... Uh, I don't feel good. Nick shot him. Is Nick a good man? Or is he just like everyone else? He is. He's a good guy. Won't yeah, he wanted to confess. Oh. He was always going out alone. I told him something like this would happen, but he wouldn't listen. No, Matt always knew best. What's going on? You need to tell him. Tell him what? What happened on the bridge? Oh. Tell me what you did. Just tell me, son. Tell me what happened. From a distance, it looked like anyone. I, I, thought, I thought he was going to shoot my friends. And I I shot Matthew. But it, 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 it happened real fast. I didn't, I didn't know if I hit him, oh. but I did. And I didn't mean to. Do you know what you've done to me? Do you have any idea? I didn't mean to. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, Walter. Walt, what's going on? And that is part 7 Walking Dead series. If you really enjoyed this video, do click the like button and also share to your friends, families, cat, dog, plants, cockroaches or whoever that you know of. As you, when you do that, it really helps me out a lot and makes me really happy. So to, there's also a last part to Walking Dead series which is the part 8. So do stay tuned for that video. Till I see you guys again. Stay smexy. Walkers, we gotta shut it down now. Hey, help me. Carry the guns. Guns? That thing's a damn dinner bell. <laughs>